Welcome to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We continue to process Philippians chapter 4, verse 12. And yesterday we said that Paul had been initiated into discovering the secret of contentment. I like to say this about contentment because it is a lesson that we all need to learn. Contentment, Charles Spurgeon said, is a flower of heaven. I love that. Contentment is a flower of heaven and it needs to be cultivated. Thorns, thistles and weeds grow very naturally. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> they just spring up. And all of us have experienced that during this past summer, pulling out those weeds that just grew spontaneously. Contentment has got to be cultivated. You have to dig. You have to uh, turn the soil over, as it were. You have to fertilize. You have to water. And, uh, and there grows the flower of heaven, contentment. And also something else to keep in mind, contentment is a lifetime of learning. It is not something that we uh, come into overnight. And Paul, towards the end of his life, is actually saying, I have learned the secret of contentment. We all need to be diligent students in the college of contentment, from which there is no graduation. And in this college, knowledge and discipline have got to be coupled together. The knowledge of contentment and then the discipline required to cultivate it. Contentment is not a strength that comes naturally but it is a science to be acquired gradually over time. Contentment means to be totally satisfied in the person of Christ and in whatever circumstance you may find yourself in today. And the two go together. Only when Christ is our life can we truly be satisfied in whatever circumstance God has permitted us to be in today. And uh, if there is no contentment, then the flip side is true. We will begin to complain. We will begin to murmur. We will begin to gripe. We will continue to keep asking the question, why? Why am I going through what I am going through? And so today, am I in the college of contentment, learning through discipline, the lessons of contentment and cultivating the flower of heaven, or do I find myself in the grumbling corner, griping and fighting against what I'm going through? So I want to encourage you today, the best way, the biblical way, is to surrender to the Lord and to submit to the circumstances that have been permitted and to learn and grow through it and may the beautiful flower of heaven, contentment, be seen in each one of our lives. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.